This week we are celebrating the tremendous work that volunteers do. It's been amazing, absolutely amazing, the, the quality and the amount of people that have come out to help others during this pandemic. Uh, so the Chief, Deputy Chief uh, Commissioner in Peterborough has asked us to go out today as the nurses, have, we've finished clapping for the nurses, to go out and clap for volunteers. And certainly my wife and I will be doing that this evening. I think things I've said to we're getting a little bit back to normal. I promised you that uh, when the recycling centre opened, uh, that we would then look to take trucks and trailers in, uh, bands and trailers. Uh, that is now going to happen, but you do have to book online. And the reason for that is so that we can spread the load across, across the day and we don't get too many all, all at once. Also, you know, the schools, uh, that they opened. 70% of the schools in Peterborough and Cambridge are open to, uh, on Monday. Uh, and there's another tranche opening next week and again the week after that. Uh, so, and also, once again, the city centre is going to open on the 15th. The buses are going to be uh, coming back into Peterborough and the car parks are going to be, be open as well. I did tell you I'd tell you what shops were going to be open. Uh, I can't tell you that, but uh, I'm told that 60% of Queensgate shops will be open. And on the buses, about 90% of the timetable will be uh, back in action. But you must understand that if you've got a 60-seater double-decker bus, there's only probably 28, 29 people going to be allowed on it just for social distancing. So altogether, we, we're slowly getting back uh, to some sort of, sort of normal. Uh, and bi-weekly, I'll keep you uh, up to date.